Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Welcome. 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 My beautiful beings of light. The clouds seem to be lifting a bit around you similar in appearance to the sun breaking through the clouds right after a long thunderstorm. You have done much clearing and that is as it should be. Clearing is a forever ongoing project as you are constantly under construction and evolving my beloveds. The Creator is sending you each down a royal purple etheric light shawl to drape around your shoulders. This my beautiful beings of grace is to remind you of the you that you really are. You are this noble deep purple color, my beloveds, and you each hold countless eons of scholarly training and knowledge. With your permission in your imagination feel this etheric royal purple light shawl softly drape around your neck and shoulders. Feel the warmth of love that it holds for you and the appreciation for your countless hours of service as a light worker on the earth plane. Wear the shawl for as long as is comfortable for you. Remember to put it in a place where you can use it again and again and again. It is very soothing. The Creator wishes you to know that you are deeply loved and your service is appreciated. Your work has moved many negative blocks that have popped up. Your continued assistance is needed to go forward in love. Unconditional love eventually clears the way and releases all blocks my beautiful beings of light. The way forward my beloveds is very much like flying a kite. You must constantly check the weight that the kite is carrying on its tail to make sure that the kite stays aloft. You my beloveds are this beautiful soaring kite. Your higher self is the master on the ground directing your movements and giving you more strings so that you can soar in the glorious breeze. If at any time there is too much debris on the tail of the kite it can't stay aloft. With negativity still lurking around, it requires constant daily clearing on your part my beloveds. The negativity is like a sticky gunky substance that hangs on and must be ethereally cleared so it will not impact your day-to-day -day experiences my beloveds. It's time to get creative with your clearing my beautiful beings of grace. In your imagination see this giant oval-shaped sphere that has many bands of color inside it perimeters. This is your energy essence, your energy fields, it reaches out in all directions many feet all around you. Then look closely and realize that you have black balls of tari gunky stuff that are scattered around these beautiful bands of color. If some of you have not done any clearing in a while some of these bands themselves could be almost covered by this substance. Realize that this stuff is negativity, thought fragments, hurts, fears, slights, shame, guilt, others' feelings about you, labels that you have assigned yourself or that others have assigned to you, self-sabotage, old outdated belief systems or old outdate programs that no longer serve your highest good and the list can just go on and on. This is like your etheric trash bin, if you will, that no one has emptied for quite some time. Daily in your meditations or during your prayers ask for your angels and spirit guides to help you clean your energy fields of all of this debris and stuff. This debris when not cleared will drain your energy banks and because it can stress your energy vibrations and well-being it too can also make you physically ill. So if you would like to visualize this debris in your energy fields like imaginary chains you drag behind you filled with all this stuff including regrets, should have beens, will bees, and broken dreams, unforgiveness and the like, you can see that the chain trail can become quite lengthy and burdensome. Ask your angels and spirit guides to help you clear this debris. See them using a vacuum cleaner on your energy fields if you like or whatever cleaning instruments you prefer visualizing in your imagination to remove the stuff. This will leave behind your brilliant bands of glorious colored light frequencies. Perhaps you have realized by now that constant clearing and cleaning will keep your energy fields cleaned and your vibrations raised so that those of like vibrations can intersect with you and bring you new possibilities, help with dreams, missions, and gifts. If you are constantly being bombarded by lower vibrational beings this could be the reason for those interactions. Even if you were originally a very high vibrating being, if you have all of this debris around you in your energy fields your vibrations will be pulled down by this debris. Clear it daily and know that your highest vibrational good will be served. Allow this messenger to take you on a mediation journey. Arrange yourself in seated position or lie down so that you are comfortable. Keep your legs and arms from crossing if at all possible, as this blocks the flow of energy. 
cover yourself with a light blanket if you chill easily. We want you comfortable and undisturbed for a while as you journey within yourself through meditation. Close your eyes and take a comfortable deep breath, then comfortably exhale as hard as is possible. With each in-breath, you are breathing in love and renewal. With each out-breath, you are breathing out fear, frustration, and doubt. Take another comfortable deep breath in and comfortably exhale just letting all the stress go. Take another comfortable deep breath in and then just exhaling letting it all go with a sigh as you are breathing out all frustrations of the day. Feel your body relaxing from the top of your head down to your toes. Give yourself permission to feel the calm and peace. Your muscles are feeling loose and limp, so relaxed, so deliciously serene, so wonderfully lazy. Direct your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is only to be an observer on this journey, it is not to participate. If it helps you to visualize your ego self by identifying it as a symbol or as an object please do so. In your imagination ask through prayer for the Creator to send you down a protective ray of white light by praying mentally something like this My Creator I am asking for a protective ray of white light to enfold me and lift me up so that I am experiencing the very highest of vibrations during this journey into my innermost depths of understanding and being. I am protecting myself my Creator from anything that is not for my highest good on this journey. I am thanking you in advance my Creator for assisting me by sending this ray. I am visualizing the ray in my imagination now coming down through the corner of the area where I am meditating. It is entering into my physical form, permeating all that is within my I am presence. The Creator has responded to your prayer and has gifted you with an iridescent white ray plus a red ray and one golden fluid ray for this journey. The rays are entering into your body through the solace of your feet and moving up through your physical vessel, permeating throughout all of your etheric energy fields and physical vessel and into all corners of the actual area that you are meditating in. The rays then are exiting through your crown chakra. The rays are returning to the Creator and cycling back down through you again and back to the Creator in a continuous circular loop. These protective therapeutic rays are in a continuous circular motion while you are in meditation. You are now divinely protected at this moment and nothing can even communicate with you, that is not for your highest good, without your permission. My divine beings of light. You are breathing very slowly and evenly now, you are feeling secure and safe. Breathe in deeply my beautiful beings of light and feel the lighter relaxed feelings of being protected and divinely guided into this meditation. Breathe in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the Creator. Listen to the Creator's spiritual heartbeat and feel the unconditional love that courses through you each time you think about this moment. Breathe in deeply allowing and seeing within your spiritual imagination your guardian angels and invited spirit guides as they join you now. The angels take your etheric essence hands and guide you out of your physical body. The angels then direct you into your etheric spiritual heart chakra. An angel has been stationed to stay with your physical essence until you return from your meditation journey. You are seeing, feeling and sensing this within your imagination, your guardian angels, spirit guides and special invited guests are with you now within your spiritual heart chakra. Your angels and guides are helping you locate the golden door that says to my highest guidance within. You have located the golden door and now you turn the etheric spiritual door knob, opening the door as you cross over the threshold knowing that you are on a spiritual growth adventure. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. Your angels are awaiting you. Today you will have the awesome experience of being a white diamond shaped kit, you are told. The angels guide you down the hall to the 20th door on your right. The label on the door says Kite Meadow. You open the door and find the label was accurate. You cross over the threshold and find yourself being blown by the breeze as you step into the meadow. You can see a forest of trees off in the distance and to the left you can see the little wooden bridge that takes you to your very own crystal palace, but today you are going to be working in this windy meadow. Approaching you is another group of angels carrying your kite outfit. The outfit is actually funny looking, it is shaped like a cylinder to fit over your body and all around the cylinder is a shape of a white diamond kite. There is even a tail attached to the bottom diamond kite point. You are now dressed in your kite suit and realize that you can't really walk very well in it. 
Your angels and spirit guides are finding your attempts at walking to be rather humorous. They have their cameras out taking pictures for your heavenly etheric scrapbook. The angels tell you that this will help you remember when you are sitting in front of your council of elders in your life between lives going over this incarnation's life review that there were some moments of light-hearted humor. You just burst out laughing as they show you the digital pictures that they just flashed of you in this outfit. Your higher self walks through the door and out into the meadow wondering what all the laughing is about. Your higher self has been waiting for your visit to help you remember the feeling of the wind lifting you up and soaring to your infinite possibilities. Your higher self remarks with humor and deep unconditional love that this isn't one of your better looks, but it will serve the purpose of allowing you to be lifted up by the wind. Your higher self has brought with it a set of tuning forks rolled in a brilliant red velvet bundle. Your higher self unrolls the bundle of tuning forks on a picnic table beside you. The angels are now projecting all around for your own visualization your essence as a multi-band colored energy field shaped like a giant egg. You are seeing the black spots and debris that has been discussed earlier. All of this debris has also been depicted for your visualization attached to the tail of the kite. You realize quite rapidly that your kite self will never fly with all that weight holding you down. The angels bring out an angelic hoover vacuum cleaner and begin immediately vacuuming your energy fields. You see all the debris being sucked into the vacuum cleaner. As the stuff goes into the vacuum cleaner the vacuum grows blacker and blacker and heavier and heavier. Finally the angels are all finished with the energy field and you can really see the difference not only in the surface area itself but also in the tail of the kite. Your angels immediately vaporize the black junk that has been sucked up by the vacuum cleaner. You still see a great deal of stuff however connected to the tail of the kite. Your higher self addresses this part of it. The tuning forks are connected to your chakra system, your higher self relates, and this chakra clearing exercise will help clean that area with your sincere intent for it to be so. You give your intent and your higher self begins at the base chakra with the base chakra tuning fork. The tuning fork calibrates the tune and with your intent also disperses the debris that has collected there. Immediately you begin to feel a difference in your body as well as see the kite tail become shorter and clearer. Your higher self continues up the chakra system activating the tuning fork for each chakra. What a difference you feel this making in your body. You begin feeling lighter and lighter and lighter. As the last chakra has been cleared the wind picks up. With all of this debris being removed from you and the tail of the kite, the kite lifts off. You feel yourself rising higher and higher into the air. The breeze is playing with your kite tail and it too is dancing in the breeze. You feel so light and free up in the air dancing with the breeze as the wisps of breeze take you to and from. Your higher self has unwound some more of the string that allows the kite to rise higher into the air. You are feeling so amazingly unbounded, free and unattached to all on the earth plane. You are floating and flying without a care in the world knowing that you are unlimited and have all the potential in the universe. You realize that nothing can stop you from your highest potential, except yourself and a possibility of a bunch of debris in your energy fields. You love this feeling you yell down to your angels, spirit guides and higher self. Your higher self yells back that you deserve all good things and it has been a pleasure to help you remember that you have this amazing unlimited potential. You continue to do loopa loops and soar here and there. In a few moments however you begin to feel a tug on the string. Your higher self starts to rewind the string as you are drawn back down to the meadow floor. It doesn't take but another minute or two for your higher self to have you back down on the ground. You are however glowing and filled with such joy to have been able to have this experience and remembrance. You tell your higher self how much you appreciate being able to have this wonderful journey. Your higher self smiles and tells you how much love there is between the two of you and that you can return at any time, now that you have remembered the way. Your angels help you out of your kite outfit. You are still feeling totally cleared of debris and thank them all profusely for assisting you to clear out all of that stuff. Your angels and spirit guides lead you back over the threshold, back into the hall corridor. You instantly find yourself back in the white marble corridor where you started. You catch a glimpse of your glowing essence in the mirror. You notice how brilliantly you shine, you just can't stop smiling and thinking about soaring in the wind. 
your angels lead you back across the threshold of the golden door within, back into your spiritual heart chakra and then they assist the return of your spiritual essence back into your physical form. Take a deep breath to help you reorient as you wiggle your fingers and toes. When you are ready open your eyes. Go about your day remembering that your inner higher wisdom and angelic support staff are always at your service working with you to help you reach your highest most appropriate potential. Listen for those first thoughts that pop into your awareness and know without a shadow of a doubt that you are receiving daily spiritual guidance. Beloveds you are blessed beyond words and loved beyond measure, more than any earth plain language can ever express. I am Archangel Michael the Creator's messenger, of love, joy, wisdom, light, peace, and grace.